Okay, it's almost afternoon and I think the striper have gone into hiding. They like the shadows. I've been seeing a lot of tracers chasing this lure and I'm gonna see if I, ooh, I just got it. Oh. There. Oh. I'm using a Ghost Minnow Dual Realis 100. And these are uh, smaller lures, but then they entice stripers to bite when they want smaller bait. What I'm doing, I'm just doing a steady retrieve and a quick trip. There it goes. This one's a little small. That's... I'm gonna let this guy go. Barely, barely hooked though. Alright. So at every bridge, there's always gonna be that shadow uh, casted onto the water. And that's usually where the stripers like to hang out. And as you can see here, uh, the lure barely hits the water and I've already hooked up. And the great thing about catching one of them is you know that there's more in there because the whole school's in there. They're just hiding in that shadow of the bridge or around the bridge. So sometimes you'll see more than one striper following the striper you just hooked up. And they're trying to hit your lure also. See that? There's a chaser right next to it. Here I'm using an OSP bent minnow and the great thing about these lures are uh, you can fish them pretty much any way you want like a jerk bait you can fish them subsurface uh, almost like a topwater sometimes and you can just dead stick them and here actually I use all of those techniques when I cast it out I'm jerking it like a jerk bait and then here I'm kind of slowing it down subsurface and I actually got a hit right there striper missed it so I just left it there, death stick it. I was just shaking it there. And as you can see, Striper comes back and hammers it. So sometimes when you're fishing during the day and the bite just seems to shut off, um, you should give bridges a try because they may just be hanging out in that shadow just to get away from the sun.